If you wanted further proof who possibly the real problem why certain fights aren't getting made, I want you guys to go to this interview on AB Boxing. I know one of the dudes that work with them, uh, Cool Cat. Uh, cool Cat, I met him before, uh, just seen him in New York. So I'm familiar with AB Boxing. And they did an interview with Angel Garcia. And it's a very telling interview with Angel Garcia. And basically, it shows you that more proof, undisputable proof. Look, look, you guys, I don't know how many times I got to tell you this. I keep telling you I have no horse in the race. I'm completely biased, unlike some people who sit up there telling you guys lies and pushing fake narrative that don't exist to support some kind of agenda that they got against certain fighters and certain people. At the end of the day, now it's getting to the point where people just make it flat out lies. And you should be able to see that now. I'm not lying to you guys. You don't believe me? Go look at this interview with Angel Garcia and AB Boxing. Where he all but admits that the people on the opposite side of the street, the other side of the street, two doors to the left, last house to the right, the glass door, whatever. They possibly are the problem that some of these fights are not getting made. They asked him about fighting Terrence Crawford. They asked him about his comments. Angel Garcia, in quote, I can't quote him barbatim. He said, why are they worried about what's going on with the PBC? Excuse me? Why don't they groom some of those 135, 140 guys to basically fight? But so basically they he says, why don't Lomachenko fight Bud Crawford? Well, why Lomachenko to me is a little too is too small. It's just too small. I would like for that fight to happen, but it's 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 you know, he just too small. So I guarantee you, you ain't gonna see people pushing their record buttons talking about that fight. Like I said, don't listen to this bullshit that I'm some uh, uh, top ranked nut hugger and I, I top ranked and got me because that's the bullshit that people trying to put out when in fact they the ones that's putting out bullshit. They just flat out lying. Go listen to that interview with AB Boxing. As I said before, wasn't it why we, isn't this the same fucking reason why we had such an issue with top rank years ago when they were setting up all these in-house fights and wasn't working with other outside companies? So now you have this situation with the PBC and Angel Garcia said, hey, we don't have to fight, but, and that's the funny part about it is to a certain degree, um, I have to interview Angel Garcia when I see him, have to. But I'm going to tell you right now, I kind of don't respect the dude. I don't respect him at all. I res I like Danny Garcia, but look, it's, it is what it is with Danny Garcia. I told you guys that they got an offer to fight Bud. They turned it down. You just heard, heard listen to that interview. He said we can fight all these 147 guys on the PBC side. So this came out of Angel Garcia's mouth. Which I told you this was what was going on. But you had people who still in denial about what's going on. Because you had a lot of other people pushing a certain narrative. Look, let me tell you something, man. I'm going to keep it 100. The reason why people won't come to the other side of the street is because they choose not to. They choose not to press that button at the crosswalk sign to where they can make the light change to green so where they could go across the street. Like I said, you got pe people that's going to support one guy one way or another. But once again, you watch that interview with Angel Garcia. He told on himself and he sort of told on what was going on with the people on the other side of the street. Now, I know you're going to have some people. Look, let me tell you guys something. I'm 
to a certain degree, some people ain't liking the way I'm moving, but I don't give a fuck about that. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm not like finna be co-signing for people that pretend to be on this movement that they doing this for the better of, of, of black people and they not doing that shit. I ain't worried about none of that shit. I ain't worried about no sneak disses. I ain't worried about none of that shit. I ain't worried about being called a, a, a co-op because at the end of the day, uh, y'all finna see who the real co-ops is. Y'all finna see who the real Sambos is. That's just the bottom line. Like I told you, I just want fights. I'm past this 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 promotional turf war shit. Like I said, listen to Angel Garcia. Listen to that interview once again. He is clearly all but admitting that they don't have no plans to go fight anybody on the top rank side. So don't listen to this shit about pressure and 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 all that type of shit because a lot of these dudes is, is is they just fucking lying these dudes is about like caper for people i just want fights that's all i want i want fights to be made yes has top rank played a role in certain fights not getting made absolutely because they were the biggest hold up in floyd mayweather and manny pacquiao not happening Okay. That's that's just fact. Top rank was the reason why it took so long to make Floyd versus Manny Pacquiao happen. So you can save that nut hugging shit. Okay? I'm just I'm keeping it 100. The man all but admitted that hey we don't plan to fight anybody on the PBC side. And you know, the thing is with Angel Garcia, this is the same dude that was calling, you know, Bud Crawford a nappy head and all that type of shit. But at the end of the day, you you cornballs. Well, you know, they grew up Philly. So, you know, they, you, you know, so they be a rent. Look, man, I don't care about none of that shit. I don't know how many times I got to tell you that don't mean nothing to me. I don't give a damn how many many black women or black men you sleep with as a white woman or a white man that don't make you black that don't give you no black card because there ain't no damn black card just like there ain't no such thing as no race card and ain't no such thing as no race bait at the end of the day if you differ from the person that you associate with and you say something that's disrespectful to his race in most cases that make you a bigot or a racist can we just cut the shit like I keep telling y'all, man, I don't have no no horse in the race with this shit. I'm not doing this no more. People going to tell you shit because they want to push a certain narrative and they want you to believe something. Okay? So, that's just the end that's just the end of the story. Go watch that video. Go watch that video with Angel Garcia where he all but admit that the problem is them. He's encouraging top rank to make in-house fights. He basically said, don't worry about what the PBC is doing. Like they some kind of, I told you, like they some kind of promotional gang or something, man. This shit is just crazy, man. Like I said, this is what's going to destroy boxing. You know who going to destroy boxing? The boxers, the promoters, and some of these fake uh, YouTube channels that sit up here and try to use uh, um, black pride and black, you, you know what I'm saying, and pro-blackness to make it look like they doing this for the race and the culture when they really ain't, when it's self-serving. Those are the channels and the people that's going to kill boxing, those type of dudes. You know, for real. Stop falling for the bullshit. Stop falling for it. Once again, go to AB Boxing. Look at that video with Angel Garcia where he, he pretty much admits that they don't want to fight nobody affiliated with top rank. And don't give me that shit about 
Bud shouldn't have re-signed and all that type of shit. At the end of the day, it don't matter what promotional company Bud is with. And I'm tired of hearing that bullshit ass excuse. That, sh that shit is dead. It's Elvis. It's dead. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit no more. Because at the end of the day, fights can be made. Everybody back in the 80s and 90s wasn't with top rank and wasn't with just Don King. Fights got made back then, so why can't fights get made now? So I ain't trying to hear that. A lot of the people that's talking that bullshit is you under 30 motherfuckers. You don't know shit about boxing. You don't know how boxing works. You basically regurgitate shit that you heard from some of these 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 uh, so-called power to the people YouTube channels. And that, once again, pushing a false narrative about certain promoters and promotional companies is for black people when they really ain't. You can't tell me shit. I know what the hell I'm talking about. Stop listening to that shit. Stop listening to that foolishness. Stop listening to that malarkey. Because that's what it is. It's a bunch of malarkey. Stop listening to people that don't go, go to fights, that don't talk to people behind the scenes. Like I said, I'll be working. Let me ask y'all something. Since I started covering fights, who give y'all 30, 40 videos damn near every time they go to a fight? Because I'll be sitting there working. You know why I didn't get the tour in New York City? Because I was there working, asking questions, talking to people. Like I said, I know what's going on. Like I said, Angel Garcia all but admitted that they ain't trying to fight nobody on the other side, and I don't want to hear that bullshit. Like I said, that you shouldn't have signed with top rank. Why do you have to be, why do the PBC have to have all the fighters to make fights? Because like, like I said, last time I checked, that's quote unquote what you would be calling a monopoly. And that's how you end up in court. But y'all so blinded by some of the bullshit that's getting thrown at y'all by people that ain't doing this for y'all that's doing it for they sell. Look, y'all, I'm not here to, to get views and all that type of shit. I'm keeping it 100. I'm telling y'all the honest to God truth. What's going on behind the scenes. And, some, and a lot of people is just mad at me because I'm telling the truth. Because they wanted to push an agenda because they are, you know, they have favor with certain fighters on a certain side. It don't have nothing to do with another fighter being on the opposite side. It's because they favor certain fighters. Now, I'm not talking to no specific person, but if you think I'm talking to you, fine. Take it however you want. Like I said, if you see me, talk to me about it whatever but watch that video once again angel garcia all but admitted what was going on this is your boy town biz i'm out